already know Thomas' story. Um, he grew his hair out for a little girl by the name of Kizzy Andrews after seeing his mom watch a Facebook video and seeing that she had no hair. At that moment, he decided that he could do something for her by growing his own hair out to give it to her. And he did go through that process, and it expanded out over the course of a little over two years. But unfortunately, Kizzy Andrews passed away before he was able to cut his hair for her. She passed away last year, and Thomas continued to grow his hair, and he still wanted to see if he could help other people with it. Greetings. As you all know by now from the video that I'm Marla. Cry baby. <laughs> Kissy's mama. For those of you who don't know or did not know prior to the video, I started my own nonprofit organization in honor of Kitty. But for children around the world who are battling cancer, I'm extremely nervous. Not because I'm usually nervous, but because you make me nervous. God is absolutely amazing. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. I'm even more grateful to be in your presence, Thomas. Um, my objective is to meet parents who, whose children are battling cancer exactly where they need to, need to be met. Many people don't realize what happens with pediatric cancer, especially with my story. Because I shared it, it was never intentional um, for it to blow up the way that it did, but God is intentional. Uh -huh. And I truly believe that with Kissy's diagnosis, it made mommy mission possible. And I just believe that with our organization, that we'll be able to touch lives around the world as we've already done without physically touching families. Okay, so, and, uh, well, first and foremost, I think everyone wants to know, what do you think of all this? Uh, I think it's amazing. You think it's amazing? We think you're amazing, don't we? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, today, obviously, is, um, you know, you kind of started a snowball effect, you know, by growing your hair out and, um, you know, going through this process that you didn't have to. So when you first found out about Kizzy, what were you thinking? Well, I was thinking that no girl should deserve to have like no hair. Mm -hmm. it, they deserve to have like long and beautiful hair. So that's when I decided that I should cut my hair. You are so wonderful. You're so sweet because uh, my kids, when I make them mad, they hide my wigs. So it's very clear that you understand how important hair is, and I appreciate that. So, no, you're right. Um, you know, her story obviously touched us all, and it's clear that it touched you. So I have to ask, my kids always wonder about what, you know, their friends are going to think, and, you know, they're always so worried, like, gosh, I can't get on Snapchat. You know, what am I going to do? Were you worried about any of that stuff? No, I wasn't worried at all. Not at all? Do you hear this confidence? Okay. Uh, we could all use a little bit of this, right? challenge was just finding enough time to do it. Once I developed the technique, um, well I didn't develop the technique, but I had to kind of refine techniques that I've seen out there in order to do this. With the doll creations, but it was very, very time consuming. So when you're trying to figure out where can you find 20 hours of time, you know, per creation, that's very challenging as, a, as I tried to do it over, over the course of two short weeks. And what was the biggest challenge as far as the texture of Thomas's hair? I'm Honestly, sure. to be perfectly honest, um, the texture was just fine. That was not challenging for me because I'm accustomed to working with more texture anyhow. But I would say the thickness of his strands, the diameter of his strands, when you're looking to inject it in and you're doing it on a doll or if you're doing it on a um, prosthetic wig, it's a little harder to get it to go in to the material because the strands are thick, but you can work around that. Well, I felt very happy see seeing my hair, more like dolls and all that, and I felt very excited and it, it felt very good. <laughs> well, it's very important to donate hair because, well, the girls or boys that don't have hair, they might want some hair to put on their head. Like, some, some, there's some bullies 
and they might make fun of the bald people. So we, I want to like make them happy, and so yeah. So you should want to make them happy too. Uh.